Hey guys, it's you. Welcome to another MLB Perfect Inning live video. Today I've got Game 3 against Elliot Productions. Before that, I get 6 upgrades, 5 for the win, 1 f because I was plus 1 on runs. Number 1, I will upgrade the Chris Bryant. Number 2, I'm going to get Cody Bellinger to a plus 3. Boom. So that's two. I get four more. Third one I'm going to do is my closer, Wilson. I'm going to get him to a plus two. Upgrade the bullpen a little bit. And then I'm going to upgrade Baez. 2A plus 2. I'm going to upgrade Rondon. 2A plus 2. So I did Baez, Rondon, Wilson. Ballinger and Bryant, and then my last one, and I have to probably collect this for my mail, is Wilson Contreras. I want to get him from a plus 2 to a plus 3. There we go. We'll cut back to the game. And we are back. With the gameplay part of game number three, I have John Lester going. My opponent, Elliot, has Luis Severino. So it looks like he's saving his number one starter for game three. An interesting strategy. We'll see how that works out. Uh, there is my lineup for today, along with Elliot Productions lineup. Got Corey Seager leading off against Severino. Little bit of lag as I pop out to second. Now Anthony Rizzo at the plate. And he gets hit by the first pitch he sees. Bringing up Chris Bryant, one of my newly enhanced players. He'll take ball one. I could try to steal second with 63 speed. I don't know if I'm feeling that greedy with only one out, though. 2-0 count. Maybe on 3-0. 2-1. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look and hopefully get a strike I can hit here. Fouled it off. 2-2 two, two count. Let's go for it. So hopefully if I strike out, I at least get second. And instead I'm going to pop out, and he's going to stay at first. Now with two outs, Bellinger up at a plus three. Going for it. Runner in scoring position now. If Bellinger can hit it to the wall like he did his first at bat last time at this ballpark, that would be huge. Said we're at no two count. One two count looking to drive in Rizzo. And now a two two count looking to drive in Anthony. Rizzo. Change up high. So full count. Big pitch here. Jam me. And Gardner that time does make the catch. So we're headed to the bottom of the sixth at zeros. John Lester not in a great mood. If he can pitch functionally... Until his first time due up to bat. I will consider that a win. We're 
We're going to use this change up. That's been so deceptive. And the change up continues to deliver. For out number one, Brett Gardner, a righty killer, should struggle against Lester. Bring a simple four seam fastball up and out. And he's taking all the way. Can honestly say I'm kind of surprised. I meant to throw the changeup, but it gave me the cutter. And instead of a strikeout, I give up a hit. Talk about a huge. Uh, I'm going to call it a mistake. I don't know why the game gave me that, but it really did cost me in terms of what likely would have been two outs, nobody on, but there we go. Wilson Contreras throws out Gardner, the would-be base stealer. That is why I upgraded Contreras, because he's a beast. And then I get the curveball for the strikeout, so we're headed to the top of the seventh at zeros. Quickly went from one out to three outs, made up for my pitching mistake by gunning out the base runner. Now on bench today, I've got some good options. Baez is in a good mood. Kike, Turner, Grandal. First into the game is Tommy Conley. 87 velocity, so I'm going to have some work to do to catch up to these pitches. Ball inside on the cutter. That's one thing I've noticed is the plate discipline has been a good thing for me so far today. Certainly I haven't played perfectly, but I've been playing respectably. 2-1 count. That cutter I would not have gotten to even if I tried. Three one count. I can now expect a strike. I'm gonna sit on something low. If it's high, I'll take it and hope. And I sat on that spot, but I hesitated just a little bit, and we're now at a full count. I was on it low, but a line out to third for out number one. Still a six pitch at bat. I am happy with it. Chris Taylor up. Strike one, up and in. If he wants to pitch me there, I'm going to take those pitches all day because I know he's going to come back down eventually. I saw the red, but I didn't take the time to realize it wasn't in the strike zone. So now I'm down 0-2. Similar pitch. I'm able to follow it off. I'm pretty sure that one would have been a strike. That slider just missed, like, maybe an inch. But I'll take it when I can get it. Cutter misses high. We're at a 2-2 two -two count. And he gets me on the breaking ball low and away. So now two outs, Contreras up, 78 throwing arm. That's going to throw out most base runners at this level. He got me with the changeup. Changeup might just be an overpowered pitch. That cutter, it didn't look as fast to me as other cutters have previously. So I think I'm starting to adjust to the speed of the game better. That cutter up. That's a nasty pitch. 1-2 count. Slider low and away. We're going to expect low and probably get fooled with something up. We're going to say up a little bit, though. Fouled it off. It's a good battle here, too, and to have made Conley throw 18 pitches so far. And the 18th pitch struck me out. We're headed to the bottom of the seventh, still 0-0. Zero, zero. Lester going to have to get three more outs, hopefully. Starting with Aaron Judge. 
Let's do the cutter up that cuts in. Left it too high. Bring the cutter low that cuts in. Left it too far inside. We'll bring the sinker. Got it there. Let's do the high change up. That is too high. And we're now in a full count. We're going to bring the curve ball and that miss. That's a walk. Yep. That is a walk. And now facing Jake Lamb. Judge on first with very good speed. And I give up another hit. This is the first sustained rally I have allowed. Now Didi Gregorius. I'm going to anticipate the attempted sack bunt. Nope. Got some good bullpen options. Let's go a second time just in case. We're gonna bring another cutter up and out. That was what I needed. O2 count. I can now try to bury him. Boom! Huge first out. Now a double play gets me out of it, or even a fly ball out. The runner shouldn't get past third. I still have to make my pitches, though. And I'm down at least 1-0. At least 1-0. That's going to be 2-0. That is not good. That's not good. Because now... If I don't score any runs, I'll have the worst team going into game four. I'm not sure what happened there. There we go, a fly out. He's going to try for third, and he'll get it. Sure, why not? Two outs, Conley up. Hopefully we get him out of the game. Yep. We do at least get Conley out of the game. But, you know, this is not a good spot to be in. Headley. Can't hit the change up. And we get the strikeout. But we give up two runs. That is that is very um I don't know, I, I'd just say very not good. I'm gonna put in Kike Hernandez. I need to get a rally started. And it works. Lead off, gapper to right center. I'm going for three. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Get there, please. Yes, lead off, triple. If I can at least cut the lead to one, that'd be huge. I'm going to bring in... I'm going to bring in Justin Turner. If I can get the ball in play, that should play at the run. I got fooled badly by the changeup. Badly by the changeup. Oh my goodness. I'm in an 0 2 hole. I'm playing very poorly. There we go. 
One, two, count. Two, two, count. And with a little fake home, it's now first and third, nobody out. I'm going to go for the steal. So now second and third, no outs. Two zero count, and Corey Seager could come in the clutch. That is at least a run. It's only going to be one run. But I am now only down 2-1 to one and still no outs. I'm going to make him change his pitcher to Warren. I'm going to go for another stolen base here. Yeah. So now second and third again with no outs. I'm not even faking the guy from third home. But the threat is there. Unfortunately, I pop out to the catcher. So I can't score the run. Second and third, one out now. Am I... Am I ballsy enough to try the squeeze play? Am I... He does get the out at first. Now it's second and third, two outs. I almost should have just gone home, but Cody Bellinger can come in the clutch here. If if I make the play, 2-0 count, I'm going to sit on a strike here. I'm completely ready to swing. 3-0 count, I'm prepared to take the walk. Yep. Base is loaded. Yes, yell Puig. Or do I pinch hit? If I pinch hit, I sacrifice the arm. It is worth it. Javi Baez debut for the squad. Strike one might have been the best pitch I'm going to see this at bat. I took it. Oh, he beaned me. And it's a 2-2 two -two game. What? And it, I have to be honest, that was unfortunate. As now with two away, it is a tie game. And a 2-0 count to Chris Taylor. I am now at a huge advantage. 3-0 count. So now I can force strikes. There's one of them. Gonna force another one. So now a full count. And you know, I probably could have and should have swung. But I get lucky with the walk, and I'm now up 3-2 with Wilson Contreras. Who could just blow the game wide open. That is one of the challenges with these base players, is the pitchers do not have as good of, com excuse me, as good of command as one would like. Contreras, and he gets the hit. We're going to send him. One run scored, and two runs scored. It is a 5-2 game. So from down 2-0 to up 5-2. Hernandez, he started off as a pinch hitter, his second at bat of the inning. And that's out number three, but five runs score, four 
All right, on four walks, hitter two. I did force a couple errors. We're bringing in Mike Montgomery. Now up 5-2 in the eighth. With Montgomery here, we're just going to look, you know, not to give up the lead, certainly. Protecting the three-run lead would give me a lot of enhancements. But, you know, if I give up a run, if I keep the lead and I win the game, that is the most important thing. O2 count. The Mad Mobile League needs help while they can wait for until this game is done. That fastball, that's a hit. If I had gone change up, I probably would have gotten it, but you know, gotta mix things up. Gotta mix them up. Two seamer. Bring the change. And he hits it, but it is a fly out to left. So now two outs. Runner on first. Judge is up. I would steal with Gardner if I were him. There's the hit. We're just going to get it in. Now facing Jake Lamb, who struggles against lefties. Hopefully this can play to our advantage. Curveball works effectively. Two-seam fastball as well. Change up. Can we get it? Boom! Huge way to finish the eighth. Up 5-2, headed to the top of nine. Montgomery up. I'm going to put in Grandal. Because in the grand scheme of things, runs matter. There we go. A hit for Grandal. I'm certainly going to look to be more aggressive. Having a decent lead um, I'm not going to try anything too cheesy I don't think I tried anything too cheesy but you know certainly in terms of faking what I'm doing with base runners I honestly was thinking about going to second depending how quickly Paul got to the ball but first and third no outs I'm going to keep Seeger on first When you're up three, you, I mean, you, it's one of those unwritten rules, you don't steal. 2-0 count, though. Make it 3-0. That was a nasty strike with the slider. But I forced the walks. Now base is loaded. Now out in the top of nine. Chris Bryant at the plate. I just wasn't on that pitch to swing at it. I'll swing at that one, though. I am at an 0-2 hole. That's a fly ball. We're going to go for it, and I'm thrown out. I don't know why you're mad, man. You got a double play. I, I knew I was sending a guy with 46 speed, and then Bellinger grounds out. So we head to the bottom of the ninth. I'm up 5-2.
If I played conservatively, I probably could have scored some runs, but that wouldn't have been as fun. We'll bring in our closer, Wilson. His first game action. Not the first save opportunity, but first one we're giving him a chance at. And he gives up a single. Not a good start to his uh, stint with the team. I did blindly upgrade him. Reason for that, I figured upgrade a couple bullpen arms. Because uh, you can use your bullpen every game. Starters, you only use once every series. And boom, Wilson comes back with a strikeout. Gary Sanchez up now. We'll bring another curveball. Curveball might be my man's pitch to hit. And he fouls it off, so certainly it seems like Elliot likes the curveball. We are going to bring the changeup on 0-2. Gonna fake the bunt and then strike out. So two outs, guy on first. I'll give him time to pinch it. I know it's coming. JD Martinez. We're gonna start up and in. That gets a lot more of the plate than I wanted, but it works. We're gonna go up again. Straight stuff, and that gets hit well. But right to Javi Baez, I win the game 5-2. to two. That is eight more upgrades of much more exciting offensive game with my opponent, Elliott Productions. Another great game. Link to the same game on his channel is in the, the description. Make sure you check it out. He's doing his own commentary, um, everything like that. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Uh, check out games one and two also for game four, and then there will be five game series against everyone else in the MLB Perfect Inning Live Squad. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like if you did. In the comments, let me know your thoughts on this game. But guys, MG, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and as always, peace out.